All right, so for this example, I want to take something that looks like this as a design and turn it into 3D. In this case, I would have kind of a two-color approach to things. There's black and then there's white. Now the center could be green, purple, whatever, but the fact is I have these internal structures that are going to be floating on top of the butterfly. Okay, so let's kind of look at the process for this. Again, make sure that you have everything live traced or outlined. It, you should be able to go to outline and you see solid chunks like this. Watch the previous videos on how I turned raster to vector. Then I'll go to normal. Um, I will export this as, save as, and I'll do plain SVG. And I'll call this butterfly plane combining 3D. All right, let's go to Blender. I'm going to delete my old design and file import my SVG that I just made. Again, it's going to be really small, so I click R and I have this. So you'll see that certain things, like maybe right here, didn't translate very well. We'll fix that once we um, convert it. So we have to break this apart. In order to do that, go to Tab, and L. So this one right here, we want to go to separate, and now this is a separate one altogether. So if I hit W, I can move that down just a little bit. Again, it's really hard to see with this black material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to go into the material and click on it and delete it out. That way I can see two different things here. Let's say you want something to wrap your mind around as far as a material. I can go new and maybe change this one to blue. There we go. So now I got a blue and a white. So think of it as a two color design. This one, I want to go to Convert, Mesh from Curve, and this one, I want to go Convert, Mesh to Curve. If I hit Tab over the top of this one, I have these polygons. Again, Tab, click on the bottom one, and I have polygons. The bottom one, I'm going to Tab in Edit Mode, go to Face, and click L on the keyboard until I, I was able to highlight the whole entire object. Control E, right click, and then move this up. Then I'm going to go to the top one and do the same thing. Tab. I'm going to mouse over the top of this until I hit a sweet spot and hit L. Control E, right click, move that up. So now I have this and I have this. Let's go take this one and this one, hold shift to do that, and go transform origin to geometry. Let's just kind of move them down just a little bit. See if there's anything left behind as far as little pieces of geometry 
that might have got put into place because of those little tiny nodes that were left behind. There is it. I'm going to put this one on top of this one. Grab both of them. And I need to know what size these are. In this case, the scale is 37. That's good. Um, th 37 millimeters is, is a really good place to be with this stuff right now. But this part and this part are always going to be separate. They need to, be, they need to share the same components. So in this case, the bottom part is called curve 001. This one is called curve. The bottom one, I'm going to use the wrench and go Boolean, Union, Curve. And it's going to say something like, cannot execute Boolean in some cases. But if you move this just a skosh down, just an absolute skosh, it works. So I moved the blue one down just a little bit. And if I click on the bottom one, you can see that I have now this new combined mesh. Go ahead and hit apply. You have a beautiful butterfly that is two, used from like a two colored design that is now ready to 3D print. Just like on the last video, I added some holes into it so I can turn it into a necklace or a keychain. I want to do that here too. So I grab a cylinder, R on the keyboard to make it a little bit bigger, Z on the keyboard to kind of go into wireframe mode, and I'm going to place it right about here. Okay. Then I'm going to highlight one vertice on this object. Click on the object, hit edit. Look for a vertice that's in the center of things. In this case, this vertice is very close to the center. Mesh, snap, cursor to selected. Go to object mode. So you can now click back onto your object. I want to move its center point to here. So I go to Object, Snap. Oh no, Object, Transform, Origin to 3D Cursor. And then I could use a modifier called Mirror again. And Apply. All right, these are going to be my drills. Um, I can combine them together to make a huge drill. And they are called cylinder. So on my butterfly, I'll just go to Boolean, difference, cylinder. And there's my holes. Apply that out. I can now delete those. And I have a design that has holes in it. It's it's got depth in it, and now it's ready to export as a still. So export, still. And I'll name this whole or combined. All right, and that's how you do it. That's how you create a mesh that has depth it's flat on the bottom, drilled, based upon vector. I'll probably recenter this item and go ahead and save my Blender file too. So I hope you enjoyed, and let's move on to the workflow.